As much as I want Microsoft Teams to be constantly updating, I really wish there was a way for Teams to tell me, hey, this is your previous version and this is what I'm updating to, just so that I don't get confused. So I log into my Teams this morning and to record my classes and my whole sharing options were totally in a new place. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I will be showing you the new Microsoft Teams sharing options just so that you don't get confused and be lost like I did. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am in my samples Teams class. I do not have any students here. I'm going to go ahead, initiate a meeting. I'm going to turn off my microphone and click join now. And again, this is a sandbox class. I don't have any students here. I use this class to play and try new things in my Teams. And once I'm in the meeting, it's going to ask me if I want to invite someone. I'm going to click no. And here are my new sharing content updates. So when I click on share content, here, as you can see, it has divided my content into screens, windows, whiteboard, and PowerPoint. I kind of like this option better where I can scroll down and see what options I have instead of scrolling horizontally. So the first option is screens. If you have more than one screen or if you have multiple screens, all your screens should be available right here. And if you want to show video to your students, I highly recommend turning on your computer audio. The next is Windows. If you look closely, there is a number next to my Windows telling me that I have five windows opened on my desktop. So when I click on them, all my windows kind of expand and they give me a thumbnail along with the description. Unlike the previous version where everything was horizontal, I think I like the vertical version better because it's easy for me to read and scroll through. Now I can go back and everything gets collapsed again. And the next is Microsoft Whiteboard. You are familiar with Whiteboard. And then I have options for PowerPoint. When I scroll down here, I have an option to browse from my OneDrive or browse from my computer. Let's go ahead and open one PowerPoint just to see if anything has changed in there. I'm trying it with you all. So here is the PowerPoint. I still have the same option preventing my participants to move through the slides. Here I have the grid view that is still there. That's not, that did not update. In here I have the navigation button moving back and forth. And I still have hide presenter view and view in high contrast. So the PowerPoint presentation has been the same, just the way I share the content has been updated. Now let me go ahead and close or end the meeting. And if you want to make sure this update has been rolled out, let me move myself. You simply click on your profile picture and check for updates right here. Is there an update that you felt like it should not have been rolled out? Or is there an update that you're waiting for or looking forward to? Please comment in the comment section below and let me know what you like, dislike, or you're waiting or looking forward to. I am looking forward to the presenter mode where I can have my face and my slides at one time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who was equally lost as I was this morning. And always remember, happy teaching, and please take care of yourself.